the ultimate example of this sneakiness, ugh, this twistedness, is this drug called Invokana. They're all bad. I, I just pick on Invokana because they're of the, their catchphrase. You're going to love your numbers. I think that is so nasty and so in your face. Oh, we can't do anything for your health, but you're going to love your numbers. Oh, forget it. Don't worry about the side effects, though. And there are a bunch, too. Have you noticed an absolute explosion in anti-diabetic drugs as uh, pharmaceutical companies fall all over themselves, trip all over themselves, trying to exploit the misery, the human misery associated with this classic lifestyle disease called diabetes, which is the third leading cause of death? Actually, if you factor in heart disease and cancer, it's probably the number one cause of death. It's certainly a leading cause of misery. According to the Transparency Market Research Company, the global market for diabetes management accounted for $41 billion in 2010, soon to be $114 billion by, by next year, or by this year, by 2016. This, this is a report that came out in 2010. So, of course, everyone wants a piece of the pie. Never mind that these things are poisons. And I am sorry. I'm just going to call it like it is. They're poisons. There's no, aside from number changes, you're not getting healthier. You're only getting poisoned. Yes, they're purveyors of poison, drug companies. They ultimately will kill you. They'll certainly accelerate your demise. And they will never reverse illness, which is what you want them to do. Hopefully, that's what you want them to do. According to the uh, Transparency Market Research Company, uh, biotech firms are developing and testing new therapeutic formulations and experimenting with a range of delivery systems, pens, syringes, sponges, orals, uh, oral pills, of course, capsules and tablets. Last month, a new one came out, an inhaler. Uh, it's called a Frieza. It's an uh, inhaled insulin. Diabetes, leading cause of death, or one of the leading causes of death, is an eating disease. It's a food disease, and there's no drug or doctor in the world that can reverse an eating disease. They can lower your test scores. They can lower your insulin and blood sugar by, by poisoning it, not, not by food, not by doing it lifestyle-wise, by poisoning it. But Invokana says you're going to love your numbers. This is so, so, so rude. According to drugwatch.com, Invokana is going to be a blockbuster. It's going to earn J&J, &J, Johnson & Johnson, a billion dollars a year in sales. Every dollar ensuring that not only will we be in love with our numbers, but so will Johnson & Johnson. Johnson, that's what they should be telling you. Johnson & Johnson's going to love the numbers. How is it that this uh, Invokana, this magical drug, Invokana, that creates this wonderful world where, where we all love our numbers? How is it that it works? Well, it's this new class. Oh, it's a new class of anti-diabetes drugs. All the old diabetes drugs, they work with insulin and sugar. But, but no, Invokana, this is high-tech at work. Invokana poisons the kidneys. Ah, new, new place to poison the body. Now we're going to poison the kidneys. Usually they work with the liver. Now we're going to poison the kidneys. Or sometimes they'll work with the pancreas. Now we're going to poison the kidneys, though. Invokana poisons the kidneys. Yes, I said poison. That's what it does. It poisons the kidneys to force them to dump out glucose that they don't want to dump out. Under ordinary circumstances, glucose or sugar is conserved. Remember, for millions of years, there wasn't a lot of sugar around. So the body has evolved a system for conserving sugar. And one of, it, one of these uh, mechanisms involves holding on to sugar at the kidney level. We'll finish up when we come back from our break and take your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're coming back right after this. All right, we're back. On the bright side, I am Pharmacist Ben. Yes, I'm a little ticked off today. I've been ticked off for a couple of days about this whole scam. I get the phone calls. I get the letters from people who have been on the drugs and aren't getting better. I'm watching people disintegrate. From uh, This is from uh, Pediatrics, Journal Pediatrics. Prenatal exposure to asthma drugs may boost autism risk. Prenatal exposure to commonly used asthma drugs may increase the risk for autism spectrum disorder, new research shows. Investigators found that asthma drugs used during pregnancy are associated with more autism. Are you surprised? How can you be surprised? There's no way you cannot have side effects here. This is from, uh, this is from JAMA Internal Medicine. Low heart rate on heart rate reducing meds leads to higher cardiovascular disease and death risk. No kidding. You shut down your heart and you have a higher risk of dying? Are you kidding? I am surprised. 
Uh, of course, your doctor doesn't know this. Otherwise, he wouldn't be giving you a beta blocker because that's what those do, or a calcium channel blocker because that's what those do. If you hear the word blocker or inhibitor or suppressor or anti, stay away. Invocana, I was going to tell you about Invocana. You know, I'm going to say this for tomorrow. I'm going to talk about Invocana. This one really ticks me off. Love your numbers. We'll talk about the side effect. We'll talk about how this thing works. And we'll talk about toxicity. But remember, this is the bright side. This is the good news. As, as twisted, as perverted, as evil as this pharmacomedical model is, the institution of medicine is, not the individuals necessarily, the institution is evil. There's still the good news, which is that the body is a healing and regenerating system designed divinely to heal and renew itself day to day, moment to moment, minute to minute. And it does it. Every time we cut ourselves, this is our testimony. It's like the rainbow. You know, in the Bible, the rainbow is the testimony that God will never destroy the world again. Well, when you cut yourself and it heals, that's your body's testimony that you can regenerate and that you can, the body can turn it around and nobody has to suffer with the misery of a chronic degenerative disease, whatever that is. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to... To Anna in London, is that across the pond, London? London? Is that is that England? London? Hello there, Anna. Do we have Anna? Anna. Anna, Anna. I hate to leave. I hate to... Hello? Hi, Anna. Oh, I think Anna is... I think we're going to put Anna back on hold. Anna, can you hear me? I don't know where Anna went. I'm sorry, Anna. Call back. We'll get you first up if you call back, Anna. I can't hear you. I don't know if you're talking to me or what, but I can't hear you. Brian in Kentucky, what's up? Brian in Kentucky. I wonder if this is me messing up here. Brian, do we have Brian? Brian, I hear you. I hear your phone. You're running to the phone, Brian. I'm going to put you back on hold, Brian. I don't know if the... Hey, uh, uh, Blake, is that us or is that the callers? All right, I'm going to get one more. I'm going to get one more. See, John. John in Michigan. Hello. Hey, John. Hello. What's up, John? How you doing, John? Hello. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you guys at the network. Hello. With, yes, I know. I hear you, John, but you don't hear me. John? John? No, John. Okay. Let's get a full... John? Yes. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm about sorry, that. I'm sorry, Ben. I'm sorry, uh, too. I have a question on, on the um, all sort of... The, um, uh, Colin, I believe uh, there's a gentleman that's done uh, research on GMOs, and since 1985, all these conditions have increased because of what the GMOs do to the gut and allow for leaky gut, and which creates most of these, con like the, the, the um, inflamed a, colon, like Len Fry had. It could and, easily be a factor. Easily be a factor. I don't know. I haven't seen anything definitive, but the logic, the chemistry logic, makes sense. It could easily be a problem. GMOs are GMOs are a big problem, and guess what? The, the toothpaste is out of the tube. They're all over the place, as we knew would happen. So, again, like yesterday, we were talking about how toxic our environment is. It's just something we have to live with. Protect yourself with supplementation. Eat as little calories as possible. Disengage from the machine. Disengage from the corporate food corporate machine by eating less food, supplementing, and by making sure you're eating correctly. Uh, I'm okay. sorry, John. One more thing. Uh with, uh, with rheumatoid arthritis, I was just reading, too, where uh, curcumin helps suppress some of the symptoms. But I've heard a long time back that doxycycline, is, uh, for taking for a year, would help eliminate it from the system because it's a virus. It's not a Well, no, it's not a virus. There is a bacteria that's involved, a mycoplasma, they call it. But here's the thing. Low levels of antibiotics are a recipe for disaster. And I cannot, for the life of me, understand why anybody who understands anything about pharmacy or pharmacology would ever do this to a person. What happens is the bacteria mutate. Uh, there may be bacteria present, but they're secondary. Rheumatoid arthritis is an immune disease caused by something that's getting into the blood chronically and regularly. And it's always associated with other autoimmune diseases. Is mycoplasma or bacteria or, or, or invaders involved? Maybe. 
but as long as you put the stuff in the blood through the digestive system, leaky gut, etc., you're going to have an immune response. And low levels of antibiotics are a very bad pharmacy strategy. Every pharmacist learns this first day of pharmacy school, first semester of pharmacy school. Never stay on an ph- antibiotic and absolutely never stay on a low dose of an antibiotic because that's perfect for mutation, for resistance, uh, for bacterial resistance. Does that make that's sense, John? I- that's what I thought, and I, I would say fermented foods and kefir. Now you're uh, talking. I think now you're talking. Jordan Rubin uh, cured yes. himself. Yes, Jordan Rubin but, cured himself. He didn't use antibiotics. He didn't use doxycycline. He cured he himself. He used kefir. Kefir, yeah. fermented foods, bacteria. Yeah. He wrote about it t- uh, 15 years ago. He, r- he wrote about it. And, and when I was see- at, out in California in the Russian store that sold food, you know, Russian foods, uh, they had a whole selection of kefirs. Uh, so these people know. Uh, from the old school, uh, what, what works uh, really well. Good job, John. You know, uh, Longevity has a whole line of Jordan Rubin products, the oh. Beyond Organic products, probiotic cheese. We don't, I, don't, I haven't talked about them for a while, but they're amazing. I use them myself. Uh, uh, he has, he's got a, a product called the Swero V, which is a, a fermented whey product. I mean, Jordan is a beautiful guy and a brilliant, brilliant uh, 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 scientist when it comes to understanding how the digestive tract works. But he's also got a heck of a lot of great products and a ranch. You know, he bought, he, he sold his company and bought himself a ranch where he actually breeds cattle to produce milk that doesn't have allergens in it. Or has That's the A2 cow. Yes, Dr. correct. Dr. Richard Ulrey up here in Hillman, Michigan at eminineral.info explains the A1, A2 uh, conflict with uh, milk products. And right, the A2 there's a great... Cow that he has. And I'm drinking kefir right now from a cow that uh, is A2, so... Good for I'm, you, John. Hey, thanks for your call. I'm going mo- to motivate here, buddy. Okay. Thanks for your call. Have a beautiful day. All right, Brian, let's see if we get you back on here, Brian. You there? Brian, Hello, Brian. Ben. Hey, Hey, Brian. Hey, hey, what's up? Uh, I just had a question about um, uh, vitamins A, E, D, and K you were talking about. Deek. Yeah. D-E-A-K, Deek. Yes, the fatty vitamins. What were you going to ask? Um, the ones you get at Walmart, like um, I forgot what brand it is, uh, the cheaper and expensive ones. What's your opinion on those? Well, it depends on what you're talking about. For the most part, you're, they're going to be very similar, but you just never know. Walmart's a big company. You'd think that they would be on the level. There was a, just a, an interesting show on Frontline. Yes, you ever hear that show, Frontline, on PBS? They did want a show on supplements and the problem with supplements. And they, it can be an issue. This is one of the neat things about longevity and, and knowing your company. Knowing the company you buy your supplements from, that's always the best way to do it. Walmart's a big company. You're probably not going to have too much of an issue, but you will have a problem with getting the right types of the nutrients. For example, when it comes to vitamin K, we talked yesterday about K2 versus K1. You're not going to find necessarily the right types of vitamin K, not the K2 or the zinc picolinate you know, or the selenium yeast. You'll find the cheapo kind. Hang on, Brian. We'll, we'll finish up when we come back. Okay, we're back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Truthtreatments.com for our retinol 5% gel. And make sure you check out the longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. We're talking to Brian in, Kine- uh, Brian in Kentucky about supplements. Uh, Brian, you there? Uh, yes. Yeah, as far uh, as the quality of the supplements in a store like Walmart or Walgreens, you can pretty much assume they're going to be of decent quality. The thing is, you're not going to get the good forms of the nutrients at the big box stores. Uh, that's That would be my only concern. Now, as far as other companies go, you got to be careful. You know, this is one of the neat things about longevity is you know what you're getting. You know, you know, we're be, we stand behind the products. The people who are involved with the company stand right behind the products. We're, we're in the front. You don't see the manufacturers or the, the owners or the developers or the formulators for most companies. But with Longevity, you see us. So uh, that's one of the advantages to getting your nutritional supplements from Longevity, even though you're going to pay, multi, you know, it's a network marketing model, so you're going to pay more for them. Does that answer your question, Brian? Uh, it sure does. Okay, yeah. good deal. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it. All right, let's go back to, to, I think, London, England. Is that right, Anna? Are you there? Yes, hi. How are you? Hi. Is this, are you in the UK? I am, yes. Oh, good Good deal. What time is it over there? Are you staying up late for us? It, no, it's 5 p.m., so not that late. Okay, good deal. How can I help you? Um, I'm calling because my husband has been suffering from peeling, tapped, um, crusty lips for over 20 years now. 
Oh, there's and something's wrong. My something's wrong, Anna. He's got to have other symptoms too. Uh, oh, crack. I mean, he has a lot of other other, other yeah, symptoms. digestive symptoms. Guaranteed. I, I'm not yeah. psychic, but I'm telling. See, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I know how this works. And by the way, I don't know if you heard this. If I you heard me talk about this, but I started off my career as a pharmacist working for Blistex. Have you heard? Of, you know okay. who Blistex? You know Blistex in, over there in the UK? Well, that's I yeah. made a lot of Blistex. I made a lot of lip products, and I studied the lips a lot, and I know a lot about the lips. And the lips are actually very interesting skin. The, the lips on the skin are, more, are different from the, from the lips in anywhere else in the body. The lips on the skin, are, if you think about it, they stick out from your face, so they're subject, subject to more abuse. And so nature has provided the lips with an, excess, with an extra amount of 